Hi everyone, I'm working today in this Arjunal that I showed you how I made it. It's from boring and uh, papers I didn't like from a 12 by 12 packs and I don't like the color. I definitely don't like cabbage roses. So it's great to do something on top of it. Last video, if I think it was the last one, I showed you how to make your own uh, printed tissue paper and I want to use one now mostly uh, to add details and to uh, just get rid of the elements on the page that I don't like I'm taking a brush with water and just taking part of the tissue paper that I want like so this one will go here let's see what else do i want maybe this one yeah i think this could be nice i'm doing it uh, freely uh, and later on i'll just trim access that i don't want mm. Let's see, I think I'll go something like this. And now I'm just going, going to use white glue. After this is glued down, I'm planning to go over with some paint. As I said, I don't like this color. So, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's a little bit wonky. Okay. Good enough. So, glue on top also. And now this. I haven't planned very much what will be on the page. I'm just go going at it and I find that it's really freeing this journal i have already done several pages off camera sadly i didn't have the time to make a video but it's really freeing it's already pages that i don't like i don't care what come over them so i'm just going and doing it i don't know what to call it intuitive <laughs> so i'm going to let this dry and then i'll be back Okay, so this is dry. I'm in a mood for purple, so I've got several uh, colors here. I've got some lilac, aubergine, and a uh, dark purple, and I'm using a baby wipe just because then it will uh, be translucent, and so I will uh, keep the details in the back and otherwise the acrylic paint will uh, cover everything so if I'm uh, using the baby wipe I can smear it without losing uh, the details and I'm switching when it's too dry or I or I have too much uh, paint I'm using, <coughs> sorry, still <coughs> haven't got my voice back to normal. Uh, I'm using the darker uh, purple in the edges, but otherwise I'm thinking I'm going to start smearing paint quite uh, randomly on the page. 
I need another baby wipe. Okay. Just folding it so it would be easier to work with. And I'm taking another color. Took too much. <laughs> Never mind. I hope it will be okay. I'm smearing it so. Trying to pick up uh, where I have too much paint. It's uh, better to put less at first and just add as you go. Not sure what will come of it. I'm just playing with <clears throat> with the paints until I get something that I like. So as you can see, it's quite a mess. But that's always the start. I'm trying to uh, blend the, the paints. What happened to me today? <laughs> I don't want too harsh lines, so I'm trying to blend everything together without covering details in the back okay Just work it until you like it. Don't be discouraged from something that looks like this, like a mess. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll continue. I'm back. So. I want to add details to the background. I'm going to use this stencil with the lighter color and a little, just a little bit more uh, white, just so it would be like one step uh, lighter from what I've got on the page. And I'm doing it lightly. Yeah, next. I don't want it to be too much here on the page. Uh, it just need to be part of the background. That's why I'm going just a little bit lighter than what I've got. I'm using a makeup sponge and just dabbing away. I'm going about it quite randomly. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I 
yeah okay so now I've got two tags that are going to be part of my focal point but uh, and these are also from the 12 by 12 that I used to make this journal this is the leftovers I showed you how to do it but once again I don't like the color so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go over them again with the baby wipe so I will get some kind of a wash effect on top of it and I'm going to use the lighter color maybe even add white so you can still see a little bit of the details in the back but it's not the same color I like the white it gave me a more variation in the color so now I'm just dipping into the white and adding it a little bit okay so I like this and now I want to go over the edges I'm taking a the aubergine color and just going around the edges with the makeup, makeup sponge I wanted to try to stamp something on the two tags not sure if it will work but if it doesn't I can always flip them and do it all over again <laughs> we'll see in a minute if it will work my ID <clears throat> okay so I've got the two tags almost dry and I want to use this stamp let's take an acrylic block I need a large one Okay, I'm taking a Momento Tuxedo Black uh, ink pad. Okay, I want to see. I think the placement is going to be like this. And, and, and or better or worse it's going to go like this <clears throat> and I'm putting pressure and really 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 hoping that I will have a nice print on the two tags okay <laughs> good enough so I like it but this is just boring so I'm thinking well first of all I need to glue this two down before I make a mess I think I'll stamp something here okay I'm going to put some glue and reach for some kind of a stamp to add interest to my tags and I'll be back okay so found uh, this uh, stamp with hearts if i went with hearts here i'm just gonna go <laughs> and continue 
as I said this is so not planned I'm just playing around and I took a magenta ink pad and I'm just adding some details I didn't go with more a purple because it just looked too much too much purple <laughs> what can I say okay so I want a something here and I reached for this this is just baby wipes that I wiped all kinds of paint never a never a throw away your baby wipes just a, let them dry and then cut them and use them so here it is one I'm just going to thread it through the hole gently I feel like it's still a little bit wet on the whole thing here so I need to be gentle about it. And I'll trim it, it's just a little bit too long. Just wanted to put them in before I glue the two tags to my page. Here we go. okay so this needs to go here I'll trim it later I'll just put some glue in the back break background noises are my two boys they are at home school year ended so they are home <laughs> okay just trimming it maybe a little bit lower like this okay so now I want more details. I was so afraid to do something that will uh, steal away from this that I was so gentle with the stencil. Now I'm going to add and once again I've got too much uh, purple going on so I'm gonna try and use this Distress Ink Picked Raspberry on top and let's see i'm taking this uh, makeup sponge i like using this with the distress inks because they are round and they give me a better result when i'm using them so and they take the ink better than the all the daubers that uh, they sell you in art supply store Okay. That's better. Maybe I know that hearts are a little bit kitsch, but these are fine. Yeah, one little one here. Good enough, very uh, subtle, I think. <laughs> Do I want another one? Let's go for another one. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Okay, 
I want uh, some words here. I'm going to pick something up and I'll be back. Okay, so this is basically finished. I found the words that I wanted. Do what you can with what you have. It was on white paper that was just too much for this page. So I went and inked it a little bit with a Distress Oxide, a shaded lilac, and then just put it on the page. So this is it. I hope you liked it. I hope you'll try your hand and have fun with what you have. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.